Kieran, either side of World Cup breaks, etc. How good is it to be playing regularly again? Yeah, it's good to be back. Um, you know, it's to be fair, the breaks seem to go really quick for us. Um, you know, it's, uh, obviously we ended it on a, with a good win and then came back and um, yeah, got got hit the ground running and yeah, like I said, picked up where we left off and managed to pick up some, some good points. Because each match has this kind of been the similarity in that you've been superb in the first half. It's been a bit more of a challenge in the second in each game, but there's been more than enough to get there. Yeah, um, I think we've looked at that ourselves. Uh, I think we know that, but, you know, it's come the end of the game, I think you just look at it and you, you, you're just picking up three points and that's that's all that matters. But obviously, when we when we look into it more, we, we know ourselves what we need to do and and um, and how to try and correct that. So um, yeah, that's obviously what something we'll be trying to do. But I think ultimately the, the most important thing is the, is getting the points on the board. Clearly, it's nitpicking in an otherwise very strong season. But what have been the the conclusions behind that then? What's that? Sorry, the 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 the, the, the slow finishes, if you like, and yeah. the fast starts. Um, it's it's hard to put your hand on. Uh, it's you know we're, we're going out, starting the game really fast and high tempo and, and getting into a good position and then you know I think naturally the second half the other team if they are a goal behind or whatever they're, they're going to come come out and, and try and try and fight for that for that point or the win so um, yeah I think it's just about us trying to maybe use our experience a little bit more now and and, and trying to get get a hold of the game more and, and sort of keep our composure if we can and um, hopefully that will help us see games out. How would you sum up Life at Bramall Lane for you so far. Clearly, the injuries got in the way for for quite a while. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that was it was really frustrating. Um, you know, when you come somewhere, you want to want to get involved and and um, you know be a part of the squad. And um, you know, when you're injured, you can't do that. You know, you're stuck in the gym. But it's uh, it's just a process. It's part of football, and you know, I'm sure every every player goes through that at some point. So um, yeah, it was just about recovering right and trying to get fit and and getting back involved with the team as, as soon as I could and I'm, I'm glad I managed to do that. I can't imagine it's easy watching, particularly if a team's doing well, I suppose. No, obviously it's, it's not nice when you're, when you're injured for anyone. It's, it's, everyone wants to be a part of that match day squad. And um, yeah, like I said, we, we had a number of injuries and it's, it's not nice for anyone. Um, but like I said, I think everyone just trying to use the, you know, what, what we've got here, the facilities and and the physios in the gym as, as best they can and uh, try and get, get back fit as, as quick as possible. I'm sure when you were having, have, thinking about what to do and, and playing football away from Newcastle, you wanted a team that had grand designs and, and ambitions for the season. Well, it's kind of paying off, isn't it? The season is, is, is panning out how Sheffield United want it to with the lead placing right now. Yeah, I think at, at the start of the season, it was, uh, like I said before, was, I had the conversations with the manager before the season and. So I was really interested and, and was really looking forward to, to cracking on and, and getting going and, and really believed that the squad you know, had what it took to, to be up there come the end of the season. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's a great squad and um, you know, there's competition for places every week now and, um, and we've got a, a good mix of experience and, and youth in the, in the side and in the squad. So, um, yeah, hopefully now we can push on and and give it a good crack for, for the remaining part of the season and, and yeah, see where we end up. Yeah, because it, it's, it's the grind, isn't it, of course? So do you see longevity in what Sheffield United are doing right now then, this year? Yeah, of course, yeah. It's, it's, I think for now, it's um, obviously we're just focusing on each game as it comes. It's, it's obviously, you know, in the long run, you want, want to be back in the Premier League playing against the best teams in the world. But, um, you know, we can only focus on what we're doing right now and, and who we're playing again, you know, against next game and that's the only thing we can do. We, we, we can't look too far in front. You know, we know obviously Christmas time's a, bit, a busy schedule and there's plenty of games but I think we've just got to focus on each game as it comes and, and prepare as best as we can for that. Coventry though are the next challenge. They've had a lot thrown at them off the field yet on the field they're doing very well right now. Yeah, um, on the pitch they've, they've, they've They've picked up and looked really good. Um, you know, everyone knows the start they had to the season with the games and whatever. But um, no, they're a really good side, and, and we've looked into them this week and you know, pre preparing as best we can for them. And um, yeah, obviously looking at them, but we're obviously looking at ourselves as well. So uh, 
That should be an interesting game. Do you find yourself doing things any differently as a footballer or within the squad because of the, the workload essentially over the course of this, this period? Um, I don't know. To, to be honest, the break had, like, it was, it's obviously been a weird season. Yeah. Weird season. You know, we had the break and then we had, was it nine, nine days after the last game, the game before the next one? And so it hasn't, hasn't seemed too much of a build up yet. Um, whereas usually, you know, in December it's just. Chaos really. You're halfway you know, tired anyway, yeah. So um, at the minute, I think everyone feels all right, and I think this will be this will obviously be the test now. This this next week with the amount of games coming up, so I think everyone's feeling good. And no, I, I think we're just like I said, we're just preparing for the games, recovering, preparing, and, and doing as much as we can to be ready for that for that game.